Hi class, we're going to talk about how to regulate cell division. As we look at this process, we are going to have several mechanisms at play. For instance, we have molecular timers. <clears throat> These molecular timers um, include cyclins. Cyclins are a category of proteins. They end with an INS, usually referring to the fact that it's a protein. And when we say cyclic, this first word or first prefix refers to the cyclic nature of cyclins. Cyclins are not normally present, but they begin to form during interphase. And then we have another category of protein referred to as cyclic dependent kinases, CDKSs. And then when we think of a kinase, a kinase is a category of enzyme that will add a phosphate group or phosphorylate a protein. So these cyclin dependent kinases are activated cyclins and then they phosphorylate other proteins. And then these cyclin CDK complexes are going to control multiple parts of the cell cycle. They're going to control the replication of DNA. They're going to control replication of centrioles. They're going to control the condensation of the chromosomes. So this is when we go from chromatin to individual chromatones. The breakdown of the nuclear envelope, and formation of mitotic spindle, and the attachment of chromosomes to the spindle during prophase. Also notably, the splitting of the centromere and separating of sister chromatids during anaphase. These are all three key things controlled by cyclin CDK complexes. Now as we look at this process, we are also going to have some checkpoints as we advance from one stage of the cell cycle to another stage of the cell cycle. These checkpoints are going to be controlled by the cyclin CDK complexes. So at the beginning, we have a G1 checkpoint, and this allows the cell to either proceed towards S phase or not. If we don't pass this checkpoint, the cell will remain stuck in the G0 phase. We also have a G2M checkpoint. This G2M checkpoint is going to be a checkpoint um, towards the end of G2, the G2 phase of interphase. And it's going to determine whether or not the cell can proceed to the mitotic phase and proceed to mitosis. There's also going to be a third checkpoint. This third checkpoint is going to be when we transition from metaphase of mitosis to anaphase of mitosis. And it's going to determine whether or not the cell can proceed to anaphase. This third checkpoint is what we have to um, make it through in order to initiate cis separation of sister chromatids within a chromosome. So that's all we have for this short, brief recording. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them on the class discussion boards or shoot me an email. And as always, happy studies.